a viewer of my videos has gone back through my uh, past videos that he did not click the thumbs up on, and he's doing that. Uh, he wrote me a little note saying that he did this and he's doing it because of the effort that I put in to creating these videos and to share them with you people. And he figures it's at least he can do is take a few minutes to go through past videos and click the like button. And uh, I would like to ask you also to do the same. Uh, it really helps me to ga gain recognition of YouTube and gets my videos out to more people. Uh, so if you would mind, really, it doesn't take much. Just click the thumbs up. I'd really, really, really appreciate it. And if you love my videos, subscribe and click the bell so that you can continue to get updates of my video, latest videos. Time to play with some play. Yeah, I just want to let you know, I'm when I watch or follow somebody on a channel on YouTube and I enjoy their videos, I always click the like button, the button, the thumbs up button, because I just want to show my appreciation for that video. Of course, if you don't appreciate my videos, you don't have to do a damn thing, but uh, it's just courtesy, I think. If you enjoy them, you're not paying for them. You might as well just take a moment and click that like button. I really do appreciate uh, that gentleman sending me that email, letting me know that he was going to do that. That... Uh, was a really, really thoughtful thing to do. All right, enough talk. I'm going to get busy here. I'm not showing you everything I do on creating an eye of a horse. I think a lot of you can guess how it's done, but I do show this on my instructional videos and, uh, I figured that's uh, where you can get it if you want. I really like these uh, hard clay eyeballs because uh, they allow me to create the eye around the eyeball without screwing up the eyeball. Now, I'm not going to put much more detail in this uh, horse's face because uh, I'm trying to keep with the, the detail I've got in the body, which is not much. It's just the style I want this piece to be. So I'm going to leave the face pretty much like it is right now with the... Uh, under muscles showing a little bit more because I think it's going to help show the uh, emotion of the horse a little bit too.
before I get started on the second horse head, I'm going to put this on the horse that this one's going to go on just to make sure that the horse's head is not too big. Okay, I'm starting on this side of the face. I gotta readjust my light above so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Just gotta be careful with the nostrils. Don't wanna make them too big. And I wanna make them exactly the same on both sides. size I gotta try to match the uh, muscle size on the other side to match the size of the muscle on the side that I've just finished You don't want to get carried away with the size of the muscles either. It's really easy to do. You really got to control your hand and your eyes. Nostrils closing up. I know some of you think that this looks easy, that I make it look easy. Believe me, it's not easy. It's just, it becomes easier to interpret what you see and put it into clay and three dimension. And it comes with years of practice. I've only been doing this for over 50 years now. It's, there are a lot of young people who pick it up instantly. I mean, they they don't, maybe not instantly, but they can see forms and ways of getting them much better than I can get them. 
uh, with all my years of doing this. And uh, But it just takes practice and it takes just patience and control of what your eye sees and what your hand does. And uh, that's all it does. I mean, it's just, it comes with time. Nothing's instant. And uh, you just have to have patience. I can remember when I was watching my uncle, my distant uncle, uh, who's a sculptor, would sculpt. And uh, he was working on a 30 foot tall cowboy on horseback. It was a bronc busting bronze and it was huge and he had it in his studio and he's putting clay on it and I was thinking wow I wish I could do that well years later to a certain extent I can certainly not as good as he did it and still not as good as he does because he's probably one of the top sculptors in the country there are good workshops that you can take and uh, I all I can do is to tell you just if you want to be a sculptor and you want to do something just take your time it'll just uh, it'll come eventually it just takes time lots and lots of time Okay, this head's far enough long. I think I'm going to add it to the body of the horse to see how it looks. Well, I think you can see the difference in the size of the head and why it kept bothering me. <laughs> it's ridiculous when you look at it now. Holy cow. Oh, my God. How did I make that kind of mistake? That's just ridiculous. Anyway, I'll put that head aside. So this one's a lot more proportional. What caught me was this. Let me show you what I mean. The head length should be equal to the length between the shoulder uh, blade, top of the shoulder blade and the shoulder point. And that's a head length. The body should be about a head length between the back and uh, the belly. And uh, there's different measurements you can take. Um, the length of the horse should be equal to the distance between the point of the shoulder, the top of the head, and the point of the shoulder and the point of the hip. And that's how you work out your proportions. <sighs> how I made that mistake, I just can't tell you. So I'm going to have to uh, redo this hair this mane it's no big deal because I've got to re-sculpt that neck a little bit to uh, match the new head and uh, I could take the horses apart again but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to leave them together Yeah, see the, the distance between the bottom of the chin or the uh, cheek cheek jowls or whatever you want to call it, the throat, to the point of the breast bone is one head length as well. And that works out perfectly now. So everything is working out the way it should. 
All right, I'm in proportion again. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. I'll see you guys next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.